Hello YouTube viewers, uh, I thought I'd just kind of do a little instruction video or a, a self-help video on how to uh, how to do the matting and uh, balancing on a on a train set. Uh, at least this is this is my take on it. Um, I'm sure. I, in fact, I've seen other videos, uh, but it, it's really been working well for me. Uh, anyway, this is going to be first. I'm going to show you how to do the matting. The matting is basically I've already kind of. I had a piece that come from another curve that I used, so it's kind of spare, but this is some matting I bought off of Amazon. Uh, basically, it's just a, it's a, it's a medium green grass matting, but uh, basically what you want to do as far as this matting is you kind of want to lay it out and figure out, see if I've got a piece that's going to, going to work for what I'm needing, which it looks like I've got a piece right here that will be perfect. So I kind of get it laid out here sort it out it's going to be tight there so basically there's what i've got Let's see if i can bring it on a little bit more but anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to line it up to my edges here and here and then as you can see i'll line it up around the track and from there what i kind of do is i kind of press in so we kind of get a almost a, a design and this, and this is the way i've been doing it and like i said everybody's got their their different ways of doing it but basically i just take and i hold my matting down which I'm trying not to get in a view of the camera but basically i hold my matting down and then i just cut around the matting nice and slow and easy following following the track I mean I know where I'm needing to cut at here so it's kind of like I, I'd call it kind of like laying cut for carpet or something like that go ahead and cut off the, the awkward part of this that out of the way like I said I just take it and I've got a nice you know utility knife with one of the replaceable blades and you definitely want a good sharp blade for this and then I just like I said I kind of just you don't want it to slide so I'm really holding it down tight as I continue to just follow my outline around my track here and it doesn't have to be exact at this point because I can go back and adjust it. But uh, can we now have it? We have a nice outline laying there. And so the next thing I'll do is there's still a little bit of trimming that needs to be done. But what I found next is is my best bet is to go ahead. And uh, I had this edge over here. I actually folded it over since I have an edge there. I don't know if you can see that line or not. But I know I just take a normal pair of scissors and I can cut that off straight. And that'll be for the edge there. Hopefully this is making sense. I mean, basically it's laying it down and then and cutting around, you know, like you would any type of pattern like that. But there we go. And, uh left this stuff a little bit extra room so that I knew I was going to need that and then there we go got a nice straight cut there straight cut there now then what I'm going to do so I've got my piece cut this is just for this corner here now that I've got my piece cut which is still wanting to roll over that's not going to be a problem is I take my glue and I, I just use it's a white PVC glue a clear drying um, this is actually Gorilla, but you can use Elmer's. It, I, I don't think it would really matter. You could use Mod Podge too, but Mod Podge is a little thinner and, and it seems to dry a little slower on me. And, it, and you have to be really careful with this matting, um, especially when you get into bigger areas. It's just like this little corner I'm doing here. It won't be a problem, but when you get into bigger areas and try to lay it down, you have to really be careful about uh, one thing, putting the glue on too thick, and another thing is making sure that it's good and flat and stays flat because it likes to... Uh, it likes to crawl up and create uh, bubbles or, or wrinkles in it and uh, 
and you, you know actually on the big pieces what I did was is I did about a quarter at a time I would glue a quarter down hold it smooth it let it kind of get good and dry and then I do another quarter lay it smooth and get it to dry because uh, the first time I try to do one big sheet it really tries to crinkle up on you and I mean that's you know it's not that's not the surface you want to have I mean I guess you could get away with it but, but as you can see here I'll just you know basically put some glue down and I'm just using my finger obviously you want this to be good and clean but uh, I just I just use my finger um, I mean I, on the bigger areas I use the paintbrush or a sponge brush and thinned it down a little bit but for these small corners like this for these smaller sections I find just me taking my my finger and just uh, just laying the glue out and like I said you just want it to be nice and smooth that's your kind of equal all across and all of it well covered which I've got done there and then you just take your uh, piece that you cut out earlier for the pattern and you just layer on there I, fortunately you'll have a little bit of just in time if you need it um, let me get mine set here there we go and uh, it, it sticks down pretty quick I, I'll tell you um, and uh, I can tell you once it's glued down it is glued down I promise you I had a piece I wanted to kind of move and found out real quick after about 15 minutes there wasn't no moving it uh, it was it was done you see now you can see I've I've gotten it glued down this way now what I'll do is I'll go back with the knife and I'll get real exact I can tell I'm almost starting to need a new blade here but I'll get real exact I'm cutting around here and really that's the only place I needed to just sorry I probably got my arm in the way about do for a new there we go and actually that that was the only place I had to adjust but that's pretty much it right there I mean uh, it's kind of matting in a nutshell it I don't know if you really learned anything from that other than you know you want to pre-cut it I mean kind of the steps I would say if I'd never done it before is do like me take it dry fit it kind of dry uh, dry cut your template out to where you the piece you want to cover like here you want to dry fit it and then you know once you get it dry fitted pretty close and tight then you can go ahead and glue it down then if there's any slight trimming that you need to after you've laid it down uh, with glue then you can go back and finish it but uh, basically that's it right there and I'm just like I said kind of I don't want any bubbles or anything and I don't want it crawling up on me so I'm just kind of continue to keep pressure on it until that glue sets on there really good it sets pretty quick it's already I mean pretty much set but uh we'll go back here in a second and then I'm gonna show you how how ballast ba the ballasting is which is basically uh, the road bed of the track that give it the appearance that it's rock I'm gonna go back and show you how I do that on this little corner okay now I'm gonna show you how at least I ballast the track I mean uh I think everybody has their different ways first thing I use this uh, you know my ballasting which is basically a it's a kind of a reddish ballasting um, it's it's a medium or medium to fine um, I actually run it through a strainer because I wanted it a little bit finer than it was uh, originally but but anyway that's you know you pick your ballasting material and then basically what you want to do is the way I do it is is I just take the glue and I just run it right along the side of the uh, rail bed it's like this and, you know, you try to be neat I got a little too much on there but that's all right because I'm gonna take my finger and bring it around anyway so so once I get the glue laid down like that actually I might have got a little bit thick there but I found that I could kind of sop it up too much there but it's it's not gonna matter anyway uh, okay then once I get that glue laid down as you can see then what I want to do is I'm gonna take it I just use a cup the cup seems to work best but then I want to just kind of shake it like a like a salt shaker and just kind of 
quietly. Like that. And then once you've done that, let me uh let me get my brush here. I actually got a brush specifically I've been using for that kind of a, a stiff bristle brush here. And then what I do is the first thing I want to do is like I said, you, the, the appearance you want to give is you don't want it to be you want it to appear that it's below the track, not on the track. So that's why I don't like uh ballasting the middle because it's hard to keep it to where it looks like it's under track I prefer painting the track or painting the the mid part which I kind of showed that on my my build videos but uh you can you know what I do is I paint the the center ties and then uh which actually I paint like with the brown with the color of my ballasting and get it below the, the center ties in the in the area below it and then you can go back with a narrow brush like this and then highlight black or gray whatever color you want to paint your ties and then uh, it gives the appearance that there's rock there without without all that rock in your in your track but I mean peach is on like I said this is just mine as you see what I'm doing here is I'm just taking this brush and I'm just kind of flattening it out and getting it like I want it laying out to the track it's kind of sculpting I guess you could say and just even it all out kind of like to after I get kind of smooth the way I want I usually go back and kind of tamp it with my finger lightly just to kind of set it in that glue that I laid by laid below it because you don't want to tamp it too hard because you don't want it to look like it's compressed but you also kind of want to smooth it out which that pretty much is the appearance I want to have right there and uh, I really haven't made much of a mess either. Okay, now then, the next secret, after you got that, which I'm pretty happy with the, the way that's going to look. That definitely looks like it's below the track. I can tell I'm, I'm not really covering any of my uh, ends of my ties there. Which, I don't know if you can tell from other videos, it's kind of hard to tell that from the camera. But I definitely gave it the appearance of being below the track, not above the track at least the the further i've gotten the first i wasn't real happy with but i'm rambling on now but anyway now that i got that part done and i've got it sculptured like i want it all i do is i come back and actually this is just a 50 50 mix of uh of white glue pvc glue and and uh and water and what i do with this is is a lot of guys use water droppers but i found this little I don't know, I think it was a hand sanitizer bottle, but you know, anything you can find that can kind of make it to where you can drip the liquid on it. But then, as you can see, what I'll do here is I will take it and I will wet it down with this 50 50 mix. This is just to uh, basically lock it in position. And then, like I said, it's kind of a thin mix, so it works real good as far as it kind of soaks into it. And you want it pretty liberally. Uh, Cover all your area here. Because any, anything you don't get this uh, soaked in, whenever I come back, because what I will come back do is after I'm after it's dry, is I'll come back with a vacuum cleaner and uh, pick up any loose grain. And, you know, lots of stuff all over the house. And I promise you, it definitely locks it down. But there. Uh, maybe a little bit more there. As you can tell, you kind of just look around and see where. Just make sure you got her good and soaked. Like I said, this bottle works really good for me. Um, eyedropper works really well. It can work really good too. Uh, I can't find mine, or I'd be using an eyedropper, but I found that, and that works pretty good. A lot of people put a like a, a slight bit of a dishwashing detergent in it, and uh, I'm not sure why. Um, I know I've watched a lot of videos where the guys do it, but I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's to uh, keep it from bubbling. I don't know, because I do have a little bit of... I mean, only when I see like right there is a bubble, but all I got is pop it. I mean, but 
maybe that's but it seems like to me if you did liquid detergent you would uh you would do an opposite you'd create more bubbling but okay there you there you go there's a there's how you do my at least that's how i do uh, uh the uh the bedding to my track the ballasting as they call it in the railroad terms but uh of course right now it uh it's kind of got a white look to it but once it dries it will uh in fact i'll come back and i'll show you this after it dries how it looks and and see what you think but anyway that's that's how i'm lay matting and that's how i do ballasting um whenever i started i was trying to find a couple of videos on how to do it and a couple guys kind of gave me some direction but i thought you know i'd give mine because it it definitely helps you know now i just wanted to show you the last part after the uh after i use the uh the eyedropper or the the liquid to uh seal it but as you can see now it's now in hard and if you get a nice close look at that i think it's very realistic looking i haven't painted the track yet so this uh probably doesn't look good as some of the some of the other sections where i've, I've actually painted the track like here but anyway that's uh that's how you'd uh, ballast uh, your track and mat your track hope this helps some out there uh if you like this video please subscribe to the electron man all aboard